I think this, this decision with Doc Rivers is a joke. Doc Rivers is the most overrated coach in NBA history. He is overrated to the to the core. I don't want to hear about how he 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 won. That man blew two three one leads in the playoff series, including one in the bubble. Three? I thought it was two. It was yeah, two. Orlando team blew one with Trace. They, they blew it. They blew They blew a three one lead too. Yeah. Okay, so three. That's unheard of. He's the only guy that's ever done that. He had one season where he had all the marbles fall with the big three that first year, and they won the championship, which they had to go seven games in every series, I think it was, except for the finals. Then he lost. I mean, he was a loser in Orlando for most of his career. Goes to the Celtics as a loser for the first three years in Boston. I mean, the the amount of series, 2017, lost to Utah, game seven at home. I mean, 2020, 3-1 series to Denver in the bubble. Uh, I mean, they lost the series, um, a 3-2 lead. You know, uh, uh, I mean, they had a, was it, 21. He loses to Atlanta at home. 22, the Heat beat them. 23, Boston's down 3-2. Like, this guy's a professional at losing. At losing. He's a pro at losing series. He hasn't won shit since so. This hiring, to me, is ridiculous. And... I just completely disagree with it because I think he's a highly overrated coach. Because if you wanted Doc Rivers, you should have hired him in the offseason. Why you would not hire him then and you go hire a rookie coach? Like, what's going on here?